So we have been developing a growing habit of sorts on our leadership team to keep up with and stay close and to keep learning from India. And we're keeping an India in mind in whatever important decisions that we are making. Um, I'll start a little bit by why is AI exciting now? And I'll talk a little bit about you know, the ways in which India is leveraging AI, what we have learned, and a little bit about the future. So in the last decade, the entire field has witnessed a huge progress in AI. And in the last five years, we've seen a huge progress in our ability to build generally intelligent models. And we launched ChatGPT just 1.5 years ago. We thought it would be a low-key research preview. But in the last 18 months, we have seen that people are using it in really, really transformative ways. And it's impacting people's daily lives in all sorts of ways that we hadn't imagined, uh, including here in India. And this has created a new interface to computing. It's a natural way to engage with technology that is conversational. And we are using that to getting things done. And what this shows is that when you have generally intelligent systems, people are able to put them to use in lots of different applications. And providing expertise at scale is one of the most important challenges for society. And so we are seeing AI being used in lots of new industries across the world and in here in India as well. So how is India harnessing AI in 2024? I'll share a few broad themes here. First, AI has already added speed and dynamism to the already dynamic entrepreneurial ecosystem in India. You know, entrepreneurs understand market gaps, they are building innovative products, and tools like ChatGPT are helping them accelerate this in completely new ways. We're reducing the cost of intelligence, we're enabling developers to write code, and we are helping them create completely conversational and natural interfaces to computing. And I think this is helping people being a lot more productive and opening up opportunities for higher level problem solving. And so this journey from focusing on tasks and jobs to bold startups and national missions is really inspiring. <clears throat> so today, and building on our earlier announcements, I'd like to share that OpenAI is committed to supporting the India AI missions application development initiative to ensure that Indian developers can build on our models and deliver social benefit at scale. And we really look forward to continuing the conversation with the ministry and gauging where we might be able to add the most value. So let's look at a few concrete use cases of AI in India. In agriculture, AI is making it possible to provide more support to farmers in rural communities. As many of you know, here in India, agricultural agents help farmers navigate a changing climate, implement best practices, and bring their crops to market. But it's often difficult to ensure that there are enough agents in a country of this scale and diversity. In India, there are about 650 farmers for each agent. So the NGO Digital Green has been, um, NGO has been, has been working with the Ministry of Agriculture to address this challenge. Digital Green developed a chatbot called Farmer Chat that's built on GPT-4, and this is really helping people get more relevant advice sooner. And this is works across many languages, and reducing language barriers is one of the uh, superpowers of large language models, and this is one area that we've been working on, and I really want to applaud the government's Bashni effort in this as well. A couple of others, healthcare, uh, there's great amount of work happening here. Uh, for example, there is a company called 10-Bed ICU that is trying to provide healthcare specialists at scale, and AI is really helping them deliver medical, uh, it's really helping them deliver medical advice so that people can uh, serve a lot more patients at scale. Education is another area that's incredibly important, and providing personalized education at scale is also a massive opportunity. Companies like Physicswala are building on our products like ChatGPT to deliver personalized exam preparation to millions of people. And a final shining example is the India AI mission itself. And it sets a great example, not just in the global south, but for around the world, for what an end-to-end -end public investment in generative AI might entail. Um, I want to just say a few things. We have learned a lot about India. So we have learned that um, we have reduced costs, which is a great feedback we got from developers. Um, we've worked on improving language support of all of our models. And we're really committed to learning more from India, and we're already delivering on this.